why does everything needs to be so complicated how do i even do this yo what's up everyone your boy soul train here and today i want to show you how to set up your obs quick and easy and be ready to start streaming okay so if you already have obs downloaded you can skip the next few seconds if not all you need to do is go into google type obs and you have here a couple of options first one is the streamlab obs me personally i don't like the platform the second one is the obsproject.com which is uh, the original obs studio if you just click on there you have the link for windows mac and linux to download me personally i use the stream elements um obs which is called obs live now you normally when you first click on the page uh, the download button will be right in front of you the reason you can't see it there because i'm already logged in and i already have it downloaded if by any chance you don't have the button to download on your front screen go up here on features and obs live and there's the download button for it and ready to install okay now here we are in obs uh the first thing you you want to do is connect your twitch or your youtube or whatever platform you're streaming on with your obs and that you will do by going down here in settings and you go to the second tab on the left which is called stream Choose the service you want uh, or whatever the, the service you're streaming on because I'm on Twitch, I will just leave it here on Twitch. The server should be on auto or recommended, just leave it how it is. And uh, normally, when you first start it, you will have another option in here is to connect your account directly. So you'll just need to put your username and your uh, password uh, or you can just put your stream key in there which you're gonna find in your twitch settings in your twitch dashboard now i do strongly recommend just connect your twitch with your obs especially if you're using the stream elements one and you will see later uh, why uh, it's just easier and all the settings are gonna go way way easier from there and then all you need to do is press ok another setting you will want to have a, a look at is your resolution you want you're going to stream it so going back in settings uh first one if you go to output on a video uh, bitrate um, i'll suggest anywhere between 3500 to 4500 in here if your internet connection is really good then you can bump your video bitrate to uh, 6000 with no issues uh, second one go to video and this is where you choose your uh, resolution now i am streaming on 1920 by 1080 so this stays like this on base resolution and on output resolution and your fps you can choose it from here again i am on 60 frames per second and i do recommend you stick with it now another good resolution to stream on uh, you can have is 1600 by 900 so right here i uh, just select this delete it and put uh, 1600 by 900 and the same on the output scale the resolution 1600 by 900 with 60 frames per second and bitrate anywhere between 3500 and 6000 it all depends on how good your uh, your internet connection is okay now that we have uh, the resolution set and all that uh, we can start adding uh, the video or the image how you want to call it so the first thing you want to do is go down on the left hand side where it says scenes and press plus to create a new scene you see i already have a few in there but so that box is going to be empty for you just give it a name i'm going to leave it on scene too so i know which one it is and press ok now on the uh, just to the right from scenes you will see the box where it says sources and this is uh, where you're going to add your screen your gameplay 
your camera and everything else so let's just start the screen for your gameplay if you press plus all you need to do is go to game capture in here again give it a name so let's just uh, leave it on game and press ok you have three options in the list you have capture any full screen application capture specific window or capture foreground window with hotkey um, i normally just leave mine on capture any full screen application uh, and when i open the game I automatically uh, there and then press ok now you see the uh, screen is black in here now that's because i don't have any game uh, set up or not any game open sorry uh, another option uh, you can do with it if you go to plus and you go to display capture again give it a name press ok and i have three options in here because i have three different monitors so you see if i choose one it's just going to show my obs recording if i choose the number three is showing me the chat because that's the only thing i have on my third monitor to my right uh, if i go to the first option it just captured the screen and you see here is like an infinity mirror but that's because i am actually capturing that right now so i am just going to remove the display capture for now but just so you know you have other options other than the game capture in here now uh, we need to set the set the audio uh, so we have uh, audio coming from the game spotify and whatever else you're using and from your microphone as you can see uh, here the all the audio settings or audio mixer are here in the middle and when you first open obs you will have these two um, in here one is the desktop audio so that's the sound coming from your pc your game your spotify youtube or whatever and the second one is the microphone as you can see the microphone is now activated and i am talking in it which uh, it shows you there is moving uh, and there is no audio <coughs> coming from the pc at the moment as the reason is not moving but all you need to do in here to set this up is right click go to properties and choose from the list um your either your speakers your headset or whatever you're using uh, for your sound and then press ok i'm just going to cancel it for the purpose of this video now same thing to the microphone if you go to the microphone choose the properties and from the list choose the microphone you are using um, for your stream and then again press ok now it did happen once only i installed obs for one of my friends onto his laptop and for some reason when we first opened obs we did not have the desktop audio and the microphone in here i don't know why it must have been just a glitch or something but as i said usually you will have it in here now in case that happens to you as well it's very easy go back to your source here press plus and all the way up onto the list you will see audio output capture which is the uh, audio coming from your PC. And the last one is your audio input capture, which is your microphone. And it should appear in here and you should uh, be able to do the exact same settings. And, uh, if you want to add your camera, uh, all you need to do is again in your sources, go to plus and from the list, choose a video capture device, give it a name again uh, let's call it the uh, camera and then press ok and from device in the list in here choose uh, the name uh, of your camera or the camera you want to be using i have mine on camlink 4k because my camera is connected with the camlink 4k and then all you need to do is press ok i'm not doing that now because you can see already my camera it's on the screen but that's how you get your uh, camera uh, sorted for your OBS. Now, uh, if you have a, a camera overlay, so, so uh, like a border for your camera, what you can do in here is go to plus and from the list choose image. Again, give it a name, press OK 
and then go to browse search for in your pc where the file is with your with your uh, overlay and just uh, just choose it from uh, from there let's say i want this one in here then press open and okay now you can see i have the camera overlay onto my screen if you want to resize it just uh, drag from one corner until the size you want and make sure um, you center it with your camera and you're ready to go now with the camera overlays and alerts and like a follower alert or subscribers or if you want to display your latest follower or latest subscriber or anything like that uh, the best option is uh, go to stream elements or your stream labs as i said i use stream elements it's super easy to use and put your overlay and all the images in there rather than directly into your obs and then you can add all the alerts uh, you want uh, from there uh, okay now if you want to display your your chat in real time from your twitch all you need to do is go to view docs and from the list in here make sure you choose uh, chat and you will have this um, this box onto the right hand side of your screen and when someone writes uh, into your chat when you're live you're going to see the message in here now this is called docs so that means you can drag them whenever you want if you want it or somewhere else on your screen or if you want it on a different screen you can just drag it and resize it onto your second or third monitor but for the purpose of the video i am just going to leave it here uh, let me just uh, move the camera to the other side so i can show you some of the other uh, docs you have in there so if we go to again to view and docs you have stats stream information twitch stats and twitch activity now uh, one i uh, normally use is the stream information so if i press on it you will see here i have another box which i can uh, just drag it wherever i want um, i'm just going to leave it right next to the chat now in here you can choose the title um, for the stream uh, you can go the go live notification so just choose whatever you want in there the category which is your game the game you're playing or whatever you're doing and then you can have your tags in here normally when you choose a game or any kind of category in here uh, twitch automatically gives you some tags in here so then all you need to do is update the information another very useful doc going back in here is the twitch activity feed so you will have this window in here so let me just try to put it somewhere uh, let's go here on the left hand side of the screen now the twitch activity feed is uh, showing you all your followers subscribers so every time someone follows you or subscribes to you or someone raiding you or hosting you they will appear in there just in case you do not have your alerts on or you're missing a message in a chat we'll have another video coming soon with a little bit more advanced settings you can do in obs uh, certain plugins uh, you can add in obs and also how to set up your stream elements so you can have your alerts your widgets and all sort of animations uh, onto your stream now that you have all the settings sorted the only thing left to do for you is press the start stream button if you still need help with setting up your obs please leave a message uh, below or uh, join our discord i will leave i will leave a link in the description for that as well and also i am live on twitch monday to friday from around 2 p.m uk time so if you have any questions uh please stop by let me know and i will answer every single one of them if this video was any helpful please like and subscribe and i will see you very soon with more tips and tricks for your stream